Hello, everyone. It's Brian Godfrey, your Medicare specialist from Key Retirement Solutions. Today, we're going to take a look at the difference between Plan G and Plan N. Plan G is the most popular choice. Why? It covers almost all the gaps in Medicare. This means it covers the Part A hospital coinsurance and hospital costs up to an additional 365 days after Medicare benefits are used up. It covers the Part B coinsurance and co-payments, the first three pints of blood, uh, Part A hospice care coinsurance, the skilled nursing facility coinsurance, Part A deductible, and Part B excess charges. This sounds pretty good, right? Sounds pretty comprehensive. It certainly is. But there's one thing that it does not cover, and that is the Medicare Part B deductible. So what is the Medicare Part B deductible? Every year in January, Medicare resets the clock and the Part B deductible starts again for every single person. Every year, it's a certain number that you have to pay before Medicare benefits kick in for Part B. This year in 2023, it's $226. You pay the first $226 and then it's 80% is paid by Medicare, and then the Plan G would pay the other 20%. Let's take a look at Plan N. It covers all the same things as Plan G with a few exceptions. It also doesn't cover Medicare's Part B deductible. It doesn't cover Part B excess charges. And you may have to pay a copayment for certain office visits and for emergency room visits that don't result in an inpatient admission. So what is an excess charge? Give you an example. Let's say that you injure yourself. Let's pick on an elbow. You need an operation on your elbow. Doctor says, hey, that operation is going to be $5,000 cash price. Since the doctor accepts Medicare, they accept the price that Medicare is willing to pay them for that service. But Medicare is not paying the full cash price because they're the nation's insurance for seniors, right? So they get a bulk discount. So they say, hey, doc, we're only going to pay you 4000 So the doctor says, fine, I'll take the 4000 So from that example, 4000 is the approved amount. So Medicare pays 80% of that or 3200 You would be responsible for the other 20%. Now, the difference is... $1,000 in our example, that is what would be considered an excess charge. Now, doctors are allowed to bill you up to a certain percentage of that excess charge. Check with your state. In Maryland, I believe it's 15% is what they could charge you. Plan G covers the excess charge. Plan N does not. The main differences between Plan G and Plan N in simple terms are the Part B excess charges, potential co-payments for some office and emergency room visits, in Plan N, but both plans offer robust coverage. The right one for you really depends on your needs, your budget, and what's most important to you. For a no-obligation plan comparison, give me a call, book an appointment on Zoom with the links below. My services are free to you. Why? Because insurance companies factor my compensation into the premiums that you pay. They pay me so you don't have to. If you found the video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful information on Medicare and retirement. Remember, when you pay your insurance through Key Retirement, you can earn tuition rewards to help your loved ones pay for college. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.